Hi guys, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So this is your video for January 20, 2021. And in this video, I have very interesting questions as well as important questions for your phase one of RBI SEBI NABAD as well as SEBI, oh sorry, as uh, PO examinations like uh, banking examinations at the level of PO. So let's begin this video. But before that, those who are coming for the first time, guys, please subscribe and hit this bell notification. And also you can join the telegram group so here on this telegram group what we provide we provide you guidance related to your career if you want and we resolve your queries also you can enjoy the free quizzes that we provide here so let's begin this video with the first question so our first question is which indian company has partnered with thales uk to work in partnership on the Star Streak air defense system with the support of both the governments of India and the United Kingdom. So we have Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Bharat uh, Dynamics Limited, BEML Limited, uh, Mazagon Dock Shipyards Limited, Bharat Electronics Limited in the options. The right answer is option B. Bharat dynamics limited so this company has partnered with thales uk which is a branch of thales group this thales group is based in france so it is headquartered in france and this uh, thales uk unit has partnered with indian company bharat dynamics limited to uh, for this star streak air defense system which will be manufactured by this company bdl bharat dynamics limited now guys Apart from this, there is nothing uh, to be discussed here, but remember that this is an important question from your defense sector and it can be asked in the examination. Therefore, what are the points that you have to remember? First is this company, second is this company and third is the name of this uh, defense weapon that these two companies are collaborating for. Okay, so these are the three keywords that you have to remember here. Now our next question is, with which of the following organization has National Highways Authority of India for cooperation in the field of road safety partnered? So you have Institute of Road Safety Education, Institute for Development and Communication, uh, Institute of Road Safety and Fleet Management, then we have both A and B, both B and C in the options. What is the right answer? The right answer is option D that is both A and B. So basically this institute is located in Faridabad and it is a Chandigarh based institute. Now what is the purpose? The purpose is to collaborate in the field of road safety to promote uh, the activities related to the road safety. What is the target of India to eliminate this road fatalities by the year 2030? So by 2030, zero road accident. This is the motto of the government. And by 2025, to reduce the road fatalities by 50%. So it's very obvious and very easy to remember. By 2025, we aim to uh, reduce the road fatalities uh, by 250% by the year 2025 and to zero by the year 2030. And guys, I don't think that I need to remember you guys that India is at present is the world's largest or is the, is the world's uh, high country which is facing the highest number of road fatalities. So the highest burden of road accidents is on India. So therefore, these targets are really important uh, for India. And recently, one of our union minister has met with a road accident in which he lost his wife. So guys, can you tell me which minister he, it was and the ministry of that minister as well. So this is your task. Tell me who that minister was. Okay, so the next question is, which two destinations will be covered by India's first small aircraft air Taxi service. Okay. So 
So first of all, before reading out the options, I would like to express my elation that we have progressing, we are progressing on the technology. So it's the first ever air taxi service. What is this air taxi? Air taxi is something uh, very similar to a road taxi that we have. So this air taxi is a small air vehicles that provide vehicle that will provide you the commutation service for a small distance. So what is the first destination? What is the first location from where this air taxi service has been launched? So we have Chandigarh to Hisar, Shillong to Itanagar, Jalandhar to Faridabad. Amritsar to Rotak or Firozpur to Ambala in the options, what is the right answer? The right answer is this. So, as I mentioned that it is for the very small distance. So, this is like the taxi service through the air route. So, Chandigarh is in uh, Punjab and Hisar is in Haryana. Now, which state has launched this service? It is Haryana. Haryana CM has launched this uh, service, India's first small aircraft air taxi service. Now, who is the CM of Haryana? Tell me in the comment section below along with the governor of the state. Okay. Next question is how much amount has India allocated for supporting academic collaboration with Arab countries. So recently the third senior official meeting of India and Arab world was uh, held and during that meeting India has announced to set up a financing facility for supporting the academic collaboration between India and the Arab countries. So what is the amount of that academic collaboration? So the right amount is 1 million. So basically this financing facility will provide help to the academics and to the academy as well as the institutions that are planning to uh, collaborate with the Arab countries, to collaborate with the institutions in the Arab world. So that is the overall purpose of this financing facility and the overall news. <coughs> the next question is, which two multilateral organizations have partnered for development of clean and sustainable ocean in Asia and the Pacific region? So you have IMF and World Bank, AIIB and ADB, MIGA and EU, uh, that is European Union, ADB and EIB and ECB and JICE. So these are the uh, options that have been given to you. What is the right answer? The right answer is option D. ADB stands for Asian Development Bank. What does EIB stand for? It stands for European Investment Bank. Guys, do you know that this European Investment Bank is the lending arm of EU? That is European Union. So this is an agency under European Union and it is the long term uh, loan giving institution under EU. Now we have discussed about the organizations. Now let's discuss something about this partnership. So this partnership is for clean and sustainable ocean in the Asia and Pacific region. What will these organizations do under this initiative or under this partnership? Both of them are financial institutions. So the basic function that they will do under this partnership is to finance the uh, projects that are there for the sustainable ocean for cleaning the oceans and for maintaining the sustainable ocean. So that is all, that's all the purpose of this partnership. But now my question from you is that you have to tell me the president of ADB as well as EIB. So these are the two organizations, tell me the presidents of both of them. Next is what is the date? Date of National Road Safety Month 2021. So this question I think that it is somewhat uh, unexpected by you guys because usually we have got familiar to the questions like the date of the day, specific day or the theme of the day. But this is the date of the month. 
but but you should prepare yourself for every kind of question that can come up from a news so this is one such trick from my side to help you understand the type of questions that can be made from one news now what is the date the right date is option d oh sorry e 18 january to 17th february Eleventh to seventeenth Jan, India observes the National Road Safety Week. But this year, we have uh, the government has decided to observe this National Road Safety Month from eighteen January to seventeenth February. And during this month, various activities related to the promotion of road safety and uh, the and creating the awareness about the road safety will be. uh will will be undertaken by the government during this month now we are uh letting uh, we are forgetting one important question and that is the theme of this month so what is the theme sadak suraksha jeevan raksha that is the theme of this national road safety month 2021 and this guys this photo i have taken from the website called mygovernment.in now do remember the targets that i have told you 50% reduction reduction in road fatalities by 2025 and zero uh, road fatalities by the year 2030 okay so before leaving you guys i would like to ask you a question who is the minister of roads and highways so this is your task tell me all the questions that i have asked in this video and now it's time for me to uh, bid you uh, adieu thank you so much for watching this video if you have liked it then do share it with your friends as well thank you so much